In third grade, you'll learn about lines and angles. Let's get a jump start on these math concepts to prepare for the upcoming school year. Lines are geometrical objects. Arrows on the end of a line show that it continues on forever in those directions. In this lesson, we will mostly refer to another type of line, called a line segment. Line segments are straight lines that link two points. The line segment has a definite point where it begins and ends and does not continue on forever. Rays are lines that start at a point and continue on forever in one direction. The point marks the start and the arrow symbolizes that the line continues on forever in that direction. Now that we know more about types of lines, let's learn about different ways they appear. Mrs. Gary, Miss Thorne, and Mrs. Gary's dog, Gunner, will demonstrate. These are parallel line segments. They are the same distance apart, and if they continued on forever, they would never cross or intersect. Check out these other examples. These are called intersecting line segments because the lines cross at one point. Check out these examples of intersecting lines. Intersecting lines can create a variety of angles at a point of intersection. Angles are created when lines intersect. They are created when two lines or rays begin or meet at a common point. When lines cross at a 90 degree angle, which we call a right angle, we call those lines perpendicular. The corners of a sheet of paper and the corners of a doorway are both 90 degree angles, or right angles. I like to remember the special name for these lines by using alliteration. Perfectly perpendicular. Check out these examples of perpendicular lines. Miss Thorne is perpendicular to the monkey bars. When lines do not intersect at 90 degree angles, they create obtuse and acute angles instead. Acute angles are angles less than 90 degrees. I like to remember this concept by saying that the angle is so little and acute. This acute angle is 25 degrees. I read the lower numbers of the protractor because I know that the angle is less than 90 degrees. Obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees. I like to remember this concept by saying the angle is so big and obtuse. This obtuse angle is 140 degrees. I read the upper numbers of the protractor because I know that the angle is greater than 90 degrees. Gunner will help us review lines. The stick is parallel to the floor. Now, the stick is perpendicular. Now, the sticks are just intersecting. Mrs. Gary and Miss Thorne will now help us review angles. Right. Acute. And obtuse. Thanks, team. Now you're ready to learn more about lines and angles in third grade. In the meantime, walk around your home and yard. See how many types of angles and lines you can name. Have fun!